I was a kind of, uh, I was Guthrie's second hand, you know, and I did the dances and all that kind of things and all as well. And you did the fights as well? I did the fights in Richard III, yeah. I was the only person who knew anything about swords. Nobody I didn't know you were a fight master. I, I, yeah, that's right. A dancer, a singer, a painter, yeah. a fight master, <laughs> an all-round nutty artist, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. well, my fencing there was uh, fairly primitive. But I'd learnt that was interesting because that came, most of the stuff that they were doing on that Stratford stage came from the days of uh, the actor managers who toured to stock companies in Britain. So if you were, you know, you know if uh, somebody went to play Macbeth, and you have the fight Macbeth and Macbeth at the end of the play, or with the Seaward and so on, you didn't have any time. You just went there, you arrived, the principal actor with your with your basket, with your costume, and your wig, and all that stuff, and you played the part of Macbeth with the stock company that was there. And so, come the fight, what did you do? You know, you didn't have time to rehearse a fight. So they had a series of passes, which everybody knew. Eights, preens, head and leg, fours, you know, all the stuff that I've, I'm sure I passed. So what, we'll do the, the second combination. So you just, just shout it out. Preens! Bing, 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 bing. Pause! You made the part of the fight. Oh, I see. So everybody knew, you, know, you take the lead! You, you know, on guard! If somebody said on guard, that meant you were, going to, you were going to be the person that attacked, you see. I see. So they knew who started the fight, and they had... Uh, so uh, what they do in WWF now, uh, in, the, in, in televised wrestling. There's a series of set moves that, that's exactly that they sort of agree ahead of time, but they'll cue each other. That's right. The, by what they do next, you know, yes, yes. and that's exactly what happened. My God! So I brought all that. I learned that from a fellow called Eddie Bailey, whose father and grandfather and great grandfather had been actors. It went back into the so that was in the forties. So Eddie was about forty then. So it went back into the eighteenth century. His line in relation to the theatre. And so, uh, what are the calls? Fours? Well, well I call them now. There were fours, preens, head and leg, eights, uh, and, 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 and variations thereof. Uh, right. uh, but with eights and preens and head and leg and fours, you can put together quite a fight, you know. You say if you're a half preem, that, w that would be a cut to there, a cut back to here, and a cut to there. That's half a preem. Right. And then you say, right, now attack, leg, head, leg, bang, bong, 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 you see? Right, right, right. So that uh, if you were really competent and knew the passes, it all worked perfectly well. And you could do, then of course, pausing. I mean, the, the great fight master is, was uh, Paddy Crane. And what, was he there first year? or No, 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 he didn't arrive till much later. No, I, I was the only fight man for a long time. 